Factory life was horrid. Women worked long days and had to come home and keep up with the house along with making many of babies. Children had to work long hours too. The woman had to work 12 hour days and then still come home and keep up with the house as a housewife. The factories were very crowded, overcrowded, filthy, and to the worst possible condition. They used many of children from the orphanage because they were easily replaced when they died. So they could easily replace them, and there was many of them. The people had to work long hours, five to eight, and 30 minutes break at 12 is all they got. This is the life of a factory. Ludities were English textile artisans who protested against the labor replacing machines. It was between 1811 and 1817. The Ludities came from a name, King Lud, which was a myth mythical creature. People Ludities broke into factories, breaking machines. Fights, fights between them and government soldiers went off. Were often. They were very mad because of food shortage and wheat. Any Ludity was executed on the spot. The poorhouse is where people who can't support themselves or their family go. It's the worst of the worst, working along 12-hour days with minimal food and water. And But at least they got a place to live and eat. It was small, crowded areas is where they lived. And it was all supported by the government. Charles Dickens wrote about social problems and how corrupt the legal system was. Charles Dickens, he wrote, he wrote a book called Oliver Twist. It was about the poor city and how corrupt it was. People running around like, like criminals, stealing and mugging around. He wanted to fix this because everything was corrupt. The Chartists were the People's Charter, made up of the working class. Their main goal was universal suffrage. They also wanted complete political dom dem dem democracy. They, they had petitions that were up of 100,000 signers. The Chariots ultimately failed. They failed horribly. This painting shows the hardship of children had to endure. They, w they were treated like slaves, working 12-hour days for little pay. They were crowded and basically took from the orphanage, and then when they were died, they were just replaced by other orf orphans. They, they liked kids because they can crawl in, in small places, and they could be bullied by the stappers. The economy soared because of the industry industrial revolution. If it wasn't for the working class, particularly the sacrifice in their life, Great Britain and other countries would not be where they are today. They produced the whole world. The city was a horrible and nasty place. It was filthy. But, because of the city, it was as if gold flowed from the city. It was a necessary evil. The pain and hardship of the people working there, the working class, supported the other countries so far away. <laughs>